Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. I've always enjoyed this meme format. It's fun to have one interpretation and then a surprise twist at the end. This one actually gave me a chuckle and I wanted to share it with you. So these things are called matrices and this is called matrix multiplication. And I think it'll be more fun if we make this colorful. First thing you notice is it looks like they did this incorrectly. The wrong way to do matrix multiplication. Three times five and put that here. Six times four and put that there. Zero times zero and put it here and one times two and put it here. And then from here, three times five is 15, six times four is 24, zero times zero is zero, and one times two is two. And this is not correct. This is the wrong way to do matrix multiplication. Let's go over the correct way to do it. So for this location, which is the first row and the first column, we're gonna take the first row from here and the first column from here. We're gonna do this three times the five plus the six times the zero. Three times five plus the six times the zero. Now for this one, it's located in the first row, the second column. So we're gonna do the first row and the second column. For this one, we're gonna do three times four plus six times two. This times this plus this times this. And now for this one down here, this is in the second row, first column. So we're gonna do second row, first column. And for this one, we're gonna do this zero times five plus one times zero. This times this plus this times this. And then for the last one, since it's the second row, second column, we're gonna do second row, second column. This zero is gonna get multiplied by the four, and then the one is gonna get multiplied by the two. So it'll be zero times four plus one times two. Now this is the correct way to do the matrix multiplication. Let's see what the correct answer is. Three times five is 15 plus six times zero, that gives us 15. Three times four is 12 plus six times two is 12. 12 plus 12 is 24. And then zero times five is zero plus one times zero is zero, so that's zero. And zero times four, that's zero. And then one times two is equal to two. So this is the correct answer. And that's a surprise twist, is you originally thought it was wrong, but then after you do the math, you realize, wait, it was right. For this particular problem, it's correct either way. How exciting.